Mark Zuckerberg with his meta initiatives will create millionaires soon. Want to know all about it? Stay tuned till the end. Hey crypto lovers, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will be talking about meta and how it will create millionaires. But before we start, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Done? Let's get started. Mark Zuckerberg, the world's fifth richest man with a fortune in the billions, said he understands where Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders is coming from when he believes billionaires shouldn't exist. I don't know if I have a specific threshold for how much money someone should have, but on some level no one deserves to have that much money," the Facebook CEO remarked in answer to an employee query regarding Sanders' remarks during a town hall event at the company's headquarters on Thursday. According to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index, Zuckerberg has a net worth of over $70 billion. He earlier stated that he will give away 99% of his Facebook stock. I believe that if you do something good, you will be rewarded, he remarked during the occasion, but I do believe that some of the riches that can be amassed is unreasonable. After audio from internal meetings held in July was hacked and published earlier this week, Zuckerberg opted to broadcast the business function in an unusual move. In the leaked tape, obtained by tech site The Verge, Zuckerberg mentions another presidential candidate, Senator Elizabeth Warren, and acknowledges to Facebook employees that her election would suck for the company because of her plans to break up digital businesses. Following his previous pronouncements about presidential contender Elizabeth Warren, Zuckerberg was challenged on Thursday how he could remain unbiased. On Thursday, Zuckerberg remarked of Warren, let's not try to provoke her any further. I'd rather have someone elected, even if I disagree with them on everything, which I don't think is the case here," he continued, than to not give them the freedom to speak what they think. Earlier this year, Warren unveiled a bold plan to break up internet behemoths like Facebook, Amazon, and Google. You have people like Elizabeth Warren who believe that breaking up firms is the best solution, according to the leaked tape, Zuckerberg said in a meeting with Facebook employees this summer. If she is elected president, I am confident that we will face a judicial battle, and I am confident that we will prevail. Isn't that still a bummer for us? Yeah. But look, at the end of the day, if someone tries to attack something so existential, you get to the mat and fight," he concluded. We turned down their offer on a number of grounds. The modest offer wouldn't cover the costs of changing our name, and we insisted on knowing who the client was and what their intentions were, which they refused to reveal. At least two law firms were involved, one in the United States, which wanted its trademark and domains, and another in Europe, which aggressively contacted Skulik, attempting to sell its domain registrations. It's sad that I was linked with a firm that is so mired in scandal and obsessed with dominance. We want to set ourselves apart from Facebook's authoritarian future vision. We hope that the unfavorable association with Facebook and its creator will fade away, but we will not overlook the harm done," Skulik added. In 2004, while at Harvard University, Mark Zuckerberg co-founded Facebook with fellow classmates Eduardo Saverin, Dustin Moskowitz, and Chris Hughes. He dropped out of Harvard to focus solely on his burgeoning business as the website gained traction and began to be used at other campuses. Today, Zuckerberg is the CEO and chair of Meta, a social media platform with over 2.8 billion monthly active members. He presently holds roughly 12% of the Facebook stock that he went public with in May 2012. Meta, originally known as Facebook, has evolved into a social media conglomerate, with Instagram, WhatsApp, and other services acquired throughout time and now under its umbrella, ensuring its place in today's digital world. Zuckerberg's net worth is believed to be around $113.5 billion, making him the world's fifth richest man. He's had a dramatic drop in his number recently. The recent outage at Facebook, as well as claimed whistleblowers making explosive charges about the firm, its practices, and its CEO, who are preparing to testify before Congress, has cost Zuckerberg up to $6 billion. As Facebook stock sank 4.9%, Forbes estimated that Zuckerberg's worth had decreased to $117 billion, a $5.9 billion dip. It only went downhill from there. However, the most recent move in the world of Facebook, the redirection and name change to Meta, appears to have benefited the CEO financially. They've turned the corner and are now in the black. 
He doesn't appear to have any flamboyant, billionaire-worthy vices and is recognized for his straightforward demeanor. Mark Zuckerberg and his wife, Priscilla Chan, announced in December 2015 that they would give away 99% of their Facebook stock over the course of their lives. In 2015, the two co-founded the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative with each serving as co-CEO. This organization aims to use technology to address societal issues such as enhancing educational access and quality, overhauling both the criminal justice and immigration systems in the United States, increasing housing affordability, and finally, eradicating all diseases. Earlier this summer, the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative decided to deprioritize meta-development in order to focus our efforts on three key priority areas where we believe our science technology team can have an outsized impact – imaging, single-cell biology, and infectious disease, McGregor explained. The Meta project was made public in 2019 by the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative. Meta is a biomedical research discovery tool that analyzes and integrates millions of scientific outputs to provide you a holistic look into science, according to the company's website. The project will be supported until March 31, 2022. The Times reports that the stores would be used to introduce consumers to products created by the company's Reality Labs division, such as virtual reality headsets and, eventually, augmented reality glasses, citing people with knowledge of the initiative and corporate documents. These devices would serve as portals to the metaverse, a virtual world in which people may work, play, learn, and communicate with friends and family. Last week, Facebook announced that it is rebranding itself as Meta to reflect the company's focus on establishing the metaverse. A Meta representative said in a statement Friday that the company could not confirm any plans for stores. Meta will be a new corporate brand that would oversee Facebook and its services, such as Instagram, WhatsApp, and its virtual and augmented reality activities. On December 1, the business aims to begin trading under the new stock symbol MVRS. The objective of the stores, according to corporate materials seen by the Times, will be to make the globe more accessible and connected. According to the documents, they are also meant to elicit feelings of curiosity, connection, and a sensation of being welcomed when experimenting with headphones in a judgment-free trip. According to the Times sources, genuine discussions about physical stores began last year and construction began months before Facebook's redesign. They also stated that the project, which is still in the planning stages, may not go further. The stores would be a first for Facebook, but they're not a novel concept in the computer world. Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and a number of other companies have opened retail locations. Meta has also dabbled with physical stores. To demonstrate its Oculus hardware offerings, it set up pop-up kiosks at airport and in New York City. In 2018, it collaborated with Macy's to open a pop-up shop with the intention of recruiting more small companies to the platform. Meta, formerly Facebook, organized an event where small businesses from across India were invited to talk about their digital transformation initiatives and the role Meta played in them, reiterating its focus on small enterprises. During the event, Meta unveiled Grow Your Business Hub, an online platform where small entrepreneurs can get selected information tools, and resources to help them grow their enterprises. The company also released a Grow Your Business Playbook, which would assist early-stage small businesses in scaling up by teaching them how to use the multiple meta-platforms. The playbook will offer advice on how to create a business page, create content, and use advertising to promote your company. Millions of small businesses in different countries, according to Meta, rely on their numerous platforms for day-to-day -day operations. With that being said, we would want you to know that the crypto market is highly volatile and prices frequently change, and so do forecasted values. So, it is always suggested to consult a financial advisor if you are making any significant financial decisions and do your research before investing in anything, let alone crypto. We do not provide financial advice, and this video is purely for informational and entertainment purposes. With that, we are at the end of the video. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button and stay tuned for more videos. See you soon. Until then, bye.